Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karina. This video is going to be about my sticker collection. This is my entire sticker collection. I have kits, I have decorative, I have some happy planner books back there. I have just a slew of different types of uh, stickers that I have been collecting for almost the past six years now. So I will walk you through all of my favorites, how I use them, and leave you with some storage organization ideas, things that have been working for me that can hopefully help you if you have amassed quite a sticker collection. So um, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I thought I would start by showing you my initial sticker organization when I first started uh, collecting all of my stickers, whether they were Happy Planner or from decorative shops, this system worked really, really well for me. And it still works, but I've just grown too big of a collection. So um, for anybody who's just starting out in their collection, I would recommend maybe utilizing some type of organization like this. So these were my two books that held all of my stickers alphabetically. So you can see I, you know, I put alpha, activities because I really didn't have many. Now I have so many different types of activities. This would be, this whole entire book would hold my activities. But for example, um, you know, study, swimming, tired, uh, however, you know, whatever makes most sense to you. I have animals in here because I had some animal stickers, uh, cleaning, days of the week, and I still pull from this book. I, you know, I just know from memory what's in here, but this held the first part of the alphabet. So I went from A and it looks like I made it all the way to P for planning related. And here are some happy planner sticker sheets. These are beautiful. And like I said, I still pull from this book when needed, but I've just outgrown it. So this is the second half of the alphabet, which was uh, S through W, but I also keep some of my Happy Planner girls in here. Um, I just know that they're in here. It's easy for me to reference. So it's kind of a miscellaneous book at this point, but uh, these are Happy Planner girls. And then it gets, gets into the rest of my alphabetical, um, you know, stickers, whether they were loose stickers uh, or Happy Planner. Loose stickers, meaning from my sticker shops. So fall, I have trackers, I have weather, um, weekend, and then whimsical, just kind of like fairy tale or... Um, obviously you can see rainbows, unicorns, what more do you need in life? And then my workout stickers. And I have some of my Viva stationery in here, even though she has her own album now, because when I was initially trying to put my stickers in order, I did not have that many. So she went in the workout section. So I had two, uh, these uh, sticker books are from Happy Planner. They still make them. I believe they've been updated or tweaked a little, but they're, you know, in essence the same. And then I just used this, this hideous, <laughs> ugly uh, pouch that I believe I bought in Chinatown out here in San Francisco. Uh, and I would use this for my kits when I started collecting kits, which I didn't know anything about. I only had a few, so I kept them in here. Now I use this for all of my le um, uh, leftovers. So if I use a kit and I don't use every single sticker on it, I will put the leftover kit in here and I can pull from it again to try and make another weekly spread from the kit. And this is a Simply Gilded kit that I, I just used, I just planned with. So this pouch, I still use it. It's not pretty, but it is functional and it holds a lot. And like I said, all these are just leftover sheets from kits that I've used. And I'm, I'm going to address this later um, in my organizational process, but I had just a pouch for kits. So I had my single sheets, my kits, and then I ordered this reusable sticker book from Amazon. It's just, just put in reusable sticker book. There's so many different designs and styles, but I would use this for certain types of leftover stickers. So once I used a kit and I still had stickers left over, I would pull them off the sheets and I would put them into my reusable sticker book because no sticker shall be thrown away 
not on my watch. So I have some type of category in here. These are just like dots. I have um, icon labels. I have icons. And I still pull from this as well, but I mostly use this when I'm planning in my bullet journal, um, which is different from my decorative planning, which is more of uh, memory planning. So I have my checklists, I have half boxes, and just just kind of random miscellaneous. I tried to put it in order as best I, I could, um, and I still use it today. I still put leftover stickers, all my movie marquees. I have my um, dinner icons. So this I highly recommend. And again, this was my beginner collection right here. This is all I had for about a good a good year and a half, two years. This is what I used. So I hope that helps. This was the OG system. Okay, so these are my kits. I have a lot of different kits from different shops and I store them in different ways, but I'm gonna start with some of my favorites. This album is from Simply Gilded. I believe it came in her subscription box. It's, uh, you know, like a vegan leather, it's faux leather. They're great quality. I believe they're five by seven size. And I keep all of my Nikki Plus Three. Now this kit, she has reformatted her kits to be a little larger and they're not fitting in my five by seven anymore, but I'm still going to kind of just keep them protected, you know, within this album. So this album holds all of my Nikki Plus Three sticker kits. She is an amazing shop. Her foiling is impeccable. I love her. And like I said, these are just all the kits that I have from her shop. And I save these kits for maybe a special week or, you know, I'm going to do a film uh, plan with me because they are so beautiful to look at. Make sure I'm getting all the, the kit in frame here. But these are all Nikki Plus 3. I highly recommend to give her a follow. Um, she will sometimes release uh, Oops kits. And the oops kits are very minimal, minimal like little nicks or maybe she didn't line the foil up, but you can hardly tell. And she discounts them for um, you know a huge discount. So I, I would recommend following her if you like her style. She's very romantic, uh, very um, just, you know, girly and foily and I love it. So here's my Nikki Plus 3. She is one of my favorite um, kits, my foiling kits, I should say, and I keep her in this album. Next is my Simply Gilded. Now, Simply Gilded has their own uh, subscription box that comes with their own sticker kits, and I keep mostly all the kits in here. I have a lot. I've been collecting from Simply Gilded for over five years, so I have a lot of sticker kits from her, and she's really come far with her sticker kits. It used to just be two sheets of stickers, but now she throws in date dots, she throws in bows, she throws in icons um, that look like, I'll give you an example. Uh, pull them out. That look like this. She never used to include this, and now her sticker kits come with a lot. So uh, I love it. I feel like it's a great, great quality for the price. And this is a Simply Gilded album. And again, it came in her subscription box. I rarely order, well, I shouldn't say rarely, let's be honest. I don't order off the subscription box menu often. She does sell a la carte, but I usually just, you know, get whatever's in the subscription box and sometimes she'll include albums like this or like this or like this. All of these I should have said are simply gilded five by seven sticker albums. And I cannot rave about the quality of her albums. They're great. So again, these are her sticker kits. I keep them all together. And the subscription box comes with a set of washi and I always swatch the washi so that when I'm ready to use the sticker kit, I know exactly which washi to pull to put into my spread. Let me try and zoom in a little bit to get you a little bit more detail because her kits are stunning. There's tons of foil, the paper quality is out of this world, it's, I can't rave enough about Simply Gilded. She is such an amazing shop. Irene is, 
she sets the bar pretty high. Um, and like I said, I've been subscribed to her box for almost five years, if not six years. It seems like forever. Um, but there you go. Here are all of my Simply Gilded sticker kits. And I keep another set in another section, which I'll show you. But for the most part, these are her newer kits. I started keeping them in albums. The next shop that I love is from D.E.K. Designs. And this is a Simply Gilded album. It's a five by seven. These do come with a little zipper, but I hardly ever keep anything in there. It's just, it's nice to know it's there. Um, D.E.K. is also a subscription box. They offer um, monthly and weekly sticker kits. And I keep all of their kits in this album, although, although they don't fit into the plastic sheet, they do fit nicely in this album. So I kind of just use the plastic sheet as a divider and I keep my DEK design kits in here. So I'll show you a couple. DEK is awesome. They have such fun kits and the foiling, they go ham. If you are a foil lover, I mean, look at this. They overfoil, which I don't really even think that's a real thing, but if you like the foil, like Planet Sparkle does, you should definitely check them out. I, They were the first sticker kit I ordered from on Amazon so six years ago now. Um, and again, it's D-E-K and they, give you so much in your kit. It's weeks, you could do weeks, you could do a whole month of planning with the sticker sheets that they give you. And I'll have all of the shops listed in a link below so you can check them out. But I keep all of my subscription sticker kits in this beautiful Simply Gilded album. I'll show you a couple more. Hopefully that's trying to give you enough detail without cutting off the sticker kit. So it's a Christmas theme, another Christmas theme, and it's monthly, but you can order from them anytime. You can just order a la carte, get whatever kit that you'd like, but it's fun. Every time the kit shows up, I'm giddy with excitement because I know it's gonna be nothing but beautiful things to look at. So here's some of their kits. I mean, look how many full boxes they give you. It's, there's so much in their sticker kits, so. D.E.K. Designs. And again, I just keep all of their kits in this album. And I'm very gentle with it because they are not in the sheets. But this album does protect them. So those are some of my top foiling shops. And that's how I store my kits. Here is another favorite shop of mine. And these are kits and just in general sticker sheets. This is from, this album is from a shop called Chic Street and it is a five by seven album. And this shop is also one of my favorites for foiling. I mean, just look at this album. Just, I mean, it's, it's a good time. And I love her shop. I've been a long time customer of hers and she does impeccable foiling as well. She sells sticker kits and she also sells different types of functional foiled uh, sheets. And I'll show you what I mean. But here is one of her kits called Lemonade. Look at this one with all the geodes. So pretty. Some Halloween. She does different ombre effects. And yeah, I definitely recommend give her a follow as well. Chic Street Sticker Boutique is her handle. And I only keep Chic Street in this album, which is also her album, but I think it's still available in her shop. I mean, look at this. It is so beautiful. Love it. It's so pretty. And I order a lot of her functional stickers. So she will offer an array of different colors or you can bundle. That's another reason I like her is she will bundle her collection. So she'll give you brights or pastels, or she calls them lights and darks, I believe. Um, and you can foil, oh my gosh, the options are endless. You can get 17, 14, I, I don't know. There's so many, <clears throat> excuse me, foil options that she gives you, but I usually stick with the basics, uh, hollow, glitter, gold, and rose gold. So here's stars. 
Here's half boxes, and I hope I'm not washing out the uh, washing out the, the foil here because it really is pretty. She has started doing date covers, and of course I have gold, hollow, rose gold, and I have been this collection. It has taken me years to even build up this collection. She offer sales sometimes, usually around um, anniversaries of her shops or maybe Black Friday. It's not often, but she does offer sales sometimes. And if I ever see her stuff on sale, I, I make sure to set that reminder. <laughs> anyway, so here are her functional boxes. And I believe I got these, let's see. I mean, I, I have them in all colors. Look how pretty. Oh, love it. And the kaleidoscope. How fun! So I love these boxes and she gets her own album, obviously, because I have such a collection from her. There's some dividers. And I kept some, these are just larger kits that I haven't taken out. These are all Planning City. These are not foiled, but they're larger kits. They fit in here. I ran out of room in my other kits. So I do have some other shops in the Chic Street, but for the most part, when I need to go and grab something foiled or glittery from her, I know exactly which, which album to go to. So this little guy holds all of Chic Street's freebies or some of the glitter headers, and I just keep them in this album because they fit perfectly. They fit like a glove. This album is from... Pookie Bear Cuties, and I believe it was a freebie with a certain size of purchase from her shop she threw in this album. She does that often, so I use it for all of my Chic Street sheets that are cut smaller, and it fits perfect, and I know exactly where to go for headers, date covers, freebies, or different size sheets from, from her shop. So that is my Chic Street collection. Okay guys, still on the kits. These are uh, seasonal kits. So this album is from Purdy Planner, P-U-R-D-E-E, -E, Purdy Planner. And I keep my kits from Sarah Elizabeth Prince in here. And she is also one of my favorite shops. She offers foiled options, um, but her designs are super vibrant and they're fun. She does a lot of throwback. How awesome is this one? Um, but look how fun. The, the, this album only keeps Sarah Elizabeth Prince and also Halloween. And I know, like, you're like, why would you keep Halloween in an album? Well, it's just the storage. It's the way I store. It's the way I know where everything's at. So let me take you through my Sarah Elizabeth collection. And I would have to say she is one of the best priced shops for her kits. She gives you a lot for a really good price. This is a mini kit, but look how pretty her foiling is as well. And I use her a lot. The days of the week. Look at these. Oh, love it. Love it, love it. So here are my Sarah Elizabeth kits. And then we get into, I just know that this album keeps all of my Halloween themed kits. And I don't have many. And I also recommend if you are getting a larger collection, theme them. Break them down because what I've done is I think, oh, I need another Halloween kit or I need another Christmas kit. You have to see how much is in your stash, else you will A, keep buying the same themed kits, and B, you will not use your kits. So uh, break them down by theme if you can. It's helped me. It's really, really helpful just to see how many kits I have at, a, at an instant or a glance. And if I'm running low on something, I know where I need to spend my money to re-up a certain section of my collection. So all of these are my Halloween kits, and they're from a variety of shops, Planning City, and this one was from Aurora and Avalon, and I like them. They offer a happy planner-sized kit, 
which is not very common. A lot of the shops only offer a standard vertical size kit and Happy Planner is a much larger sized planner. Um, anyway, so again, I'll have all the shops listed below, but that is how I hold Sarah Elizabeth kits and Halloween themed, which takes me to this beautiful beast. This is a sticker book from Chrissy Ann. I got it at an, on a clearance, I believe from Michael's. And it was empty and I just got it because it was a binder and I had a bunch of these clear sheets that I had gotten from Amazon. And this book only holds fall, um, winter, Christmas, and New Year's. So kind of towards the end of the end of the year. And let me tell you, if I buy another Christmas kit, I am going to kick myself. I'm going to kick myself. I have so many. Let me move these guys out of the way. And I can show you some of my holiday or seasonal kits. So this is from a shop called Cinderella Paper. Um, I forgot where she is at. I, uh, I think the Philippines. She's um, out of the out of the U. Not in the U.S. Um, but I have a lot of Cinderella paper. She offers offers foil. But I have sectioned all of my kits that are seasonal, year end seasonal, not Halloween. Anything after Halloween. So you can see I got a lot of pumpkins. I got hot cocoa. I got winter kits. Um, Chasing Chells, she's another one of my favorite shops. And Christmas. I have some Chic Street in here, but only because it's Christmas theme and I need to keep it together. All my Christmas stays together. For the most part, I should say. Um, so yeah, so I only use this album for my end of year Wild Summer Designs, super pretty. I only use this book for my um, seasonal, year and seasonal, and also my really large kits. So some of the kits are too large for the five by seven albums like these. So I recommend having just a few of these large pouches. Um, you can get them from Amazon. You can probably get them from like an Office Depot. I don't know the exact size, but they're the three hole punch. I'll see if I can, if I find it, I'll put it in the description, uh, in the um, description below. But some of the kits are extra large and you need a place to put them. So I've just put them in this binder because it's the only binder I have that holds a larger size than five by seven. So some of these are very big. So I just know that they're back here if I need them, my larger kits. So there you go. These are all my seasonal for the most part and larger kits and I keep them in this binder. Next are my random, my random kits, just kits that are either summer or, you know, just pretty kits, um, a lot of spring, maybe some autumn, birthdays. Um, a lot of summer, I would say summer themed kits are in here, but I keep the rest of just, if I need to pull a kit that it's not around a holiday, maybe it's just the middle of the year, like I said, it's a lot of summer, then I just pull either from this album, which is from Wild Summer Designs, or my Pookie Bear, which I gotta be honest, my Pookie Bear is getting a little banged up right here, um, but I've had her forever, and for as much use as she has gotten, she has held up like a champ. Um, but yeah, I won't go through every kit, but this is all of my just kind of random, you know, sticker kits that I can just flip through throughout the year. Sweet RT Designs does a lot of fun characters. They're really cute. Um, some Planning City, I order from her a lot. Daily Cuteness, this kit is so old, I should probably use it just to get it used. Um, but yeah, so these are kind of just my albums that hold sticker kits when I just need one for, you know, middle of the year. So here is everything, just kind of showing you all in one frame. These are all my kits. <laughs> It's a lot, um, but it, I just want to show you all together kind of how many kits I have. And the reason I do this is to kind of just put it in my face of, you know, maybe take a pause on the kits. You know, use your stash 
<laughs> but I can't help it. The shops, they're so creative and talented and I love it. I'm like a moth to a flame. But anyway, this is my entire kit collection right here. Here are my characters. I'm gonna go through all of the characters that I have collected. This album in particular, it is from Chic Street, but it is a four by six. It's much small, ugh, smaller than the five by seven. And this album only holds my joy of planning characters. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see the detail. I plan with Joy of Planning a lot, a lot, a lot. She is, Joy of Planning is out of the Netherlands. Yes, she is an amazing shop. I've been ordering her from her as well for years. And I also keep, I order from her um, in a variety of character styles. So I collect her in dark hair, brown hair and pink hair. And those are typically the color styles that I plan in. I'm usually more of a pastel. And if I do have a darker week that I'm, you know, planning, I go for my darker haired character. But she offers a variety of different types of hair colors and skin types. So she's very inclusive, um, lots of options. You'll find a character that you can totally relate to. So check her out, Joy of Planning. So I'll go through some of my categories here. Make sure you're getting her detail. Look how cute she is. And these are all her original illustrations. This is all her. And she's just updated her, um, how she's drawn her character. It's more detail. It's even more detailed than, than this one. Than, than these, I believe, than these. Some of these designs are old and some of them are newer, so I can't keep it straight on which ones are new and old, but she's she's even gotten more detailed in her illustrations. So this album holds all of my character stickers from Joy of Planning. There you go. Here is the album I keep all of my Viva stationery stickers in. This album is a four by six from a shop called Purdy Planner. And I keep Viva stationery in here. She is a shop out of the Netherlands, I believe on Etsy. You can find her on Etsy. Um, but she offers a variety of character stickers and these are all her original illustrations and you can order her character in a variety of skin tones or hair color types. I collect her both in the lighter and the darker uh, characters because like I said, sometimes I plan in different color themes and I like my character sticker to match the color thing I'm going color theme I'm using. And I'll try to insert an example of how I use her character sticker and all the character stickers if I can. But here is Viva Stationery. Hopefully I'm giving you guys a detailed view. It's kind of hard to see how this is going to come out on camera when you're when you're looking at it on video. Um, but she's these are all her original illustrations. She's so cute. I love her character. I can't get enough of her. She just released some summertime activities, um, uh, swimming, snorkeling, taking a hike, and I just purchased all those, but she offers a little, little sidekick there that you can order. And yeah, this is Viva Stationery, and this is how I, I organize the activities. Just start from A, and I go all the way to the end, usually weather and workout. And it's fun. I love it. And these stickers motivate me. They motivate me to do things. They motivate me um, to complete tasks just because I want to use a sticker. So hey, whatever works, go with it. And these are her summer activities. Fishing, super cute. A little skiing. Well, this isn't summer, but it's a new hour activity she released. So I hope that's picking up. So this is my Viva Stationery. Next is my character sticker stickers from a shop called Let's Planet. This binder I bought when I purchased my other binder that I used for my kits. I started using this binder for my Let's Planet. It's from Chrissy Ann Designs. I got it on clearance. I honestly, you guys, I think it was like $3. 
um, and I snagged it. It was empty and I ordered the inserts and I use it for uh, mostly my Let's Plan It, but I also keep some of Chrissy Ann's stickers in here that came free with some of the binders. Um, and I bought a couple on my own, but this is Chrissy Ann and I just keep them because I know they're in her book. Um, so let's plan it. Uh, she is a shop out of Canada. I have a huge uh, collection from her and her sticker sheets come pretty large. They're five by seven, so I just keep them in this larger binder. And as I plan, if I don't have a sticker or I'm missing something or I'm running low, I just write a little note to myself of what I wanna pick up on the next sale or the next time I place an order from the shop. So this is all Let's Plan It and this character, I believe it's not her original character, um, but she, uh, I like how she designs it. I like that she leaves it, um, you can have large, medium, or small in her characters, for example. I plan in a large happy planner, a big happy planner, so I like that I have these bigger options. There's a medium one or a small one for my decorative planners, um, and I just like that I get the variety. But this is Cora, and you can also color her in to make her match your theme for the week. And this is my Let's Plan It collection. So again, it's just in order by, you know, start at the A's and I go all the way down to obviously weather and workout. <laughs> Those are always at the end. Um, I wanted to offer a little pro tip. When you are using a label maker, if you are you know, sectioning your stickers with a label, don't take off the entire backing. So for example, I only take off the bottom for it to stick and I'll leave the backing on top or however your label maker helps you separate the sticky from the paper, only take off half because then it's easier to take this off if you need to readjust. You know, if one section is getting big and you need to push some of your stickers back or bring some forward, it's easy to take this label off. I learned that the hard way with my Joy of Planning. These are on, like it is such a, it's, it's a painful process to take these off once these labels are on. So I learned leave a section on so that you can just easily lift them up and move them around if you need to. This glitter tape, label glitter tape is from Amazon and just put it, all you have to do is search glitter label tape and it comes up with a lot of different options. So this is my character sticker from Let's Plan It. I'll go through, here's just samples. I'll go through a few more. She does quotes, she does full box quotes. And this is my PM routine girl. Hopefully she's showing up, getting the detail. So yeah, this uh, album keeps all of my Let's Plan It. Okay, this, uh, <laughs> this beautiful array are albums that keep all the rest of my other types of character stickers. I know it's a lot. I understand this is a lot. This is a judgment-free zone. <laughs> I only want encouragement for me to continue to buy more. That's all I wanna hear. Uh, but seriously, this has been years. I have been collecting these, like I said, for a while. So take your time, build up to the collection. And the reality is my collection doesn't even touch most of the planners out there. And again, it's a journey. So just enjoy it, You know, go slow, shop the sales, and be very specific on what you're trying to collect. So these smaller albums, these are all from Simply Gilded, except for this little miniature book, and I'll explain what I keep in here. But this is from, from the Alluring, Alluring Planner Co., and it, I believe it was a freebie with a certain size purchase, and I'll show you what I keep in there. So these two metallic shimmery albums keep my Pookie Bear. This is another shop that I collect when I just want kind of a, not a human character, but you know, something more fun or whimsical. Pookie Bear, she is so cute. Um, she offers a lot of different variety to her character, known as Pookie Bear, and she also offers sticker kits. So definitely check out her shop. Um, but this is my Pookie Bear collection, and it has gotten a little too large for one album that I've started collecting her in my second metallic shimmer. 
so I can continue to shop from her and continue to grow my collection. So this is where I keep all of my Pookie Bear. Sorry, let me show you a little bit more. I don't want to close it too soon. I've got workout, yard work, and some freebies. And I have all this space to kind of grow into and take my time. So these two albums keep my, keep my Pookie Bear. This album keeps my Once More With Love Munchkin. She is, not, there's so many options, activities, um, emotions. I mean, it, there are so much that this shop offers. She's out of Canada. Pookie Bear is a US uh, shop, but I'm forgetting which state. Um, but she is out of Canada and she offers sales every now and then. But this is my Once More With Love collection and I keep all of them in this album and I have not, if you've noticed, I have not gone through and categorized. So these are kind of just in more or less just in here. I haven't been able to go through and categorize them like I have with my others. So that's a to-do, that is a to-do. So super cute, best day ever. And like I said, Simply Gilded, all these are Simply Gilded. These two hold my whimsical cat. I believe she's out of Philippines. And she's cute, little cute character. And again, tons of options on activities, characters, emotions. And I, you can get her with red hair, blonde hair, very, very inclusive to all types of skin colors or hair types. So... Check her out, and like I said, she's out of the Philippines, so the only drawback, which really not even that big of a drawback, is it does take a while to get some of these international shops, but not long. I would say the longest I've had to wait was four weeks one time, and it was a big order that I placed with her, but I have a lot. She gets two albums because I shop from her a lot. So here is my whimsical cat collection and I keep her in kind of these neutral albums and these two hold my um, oh my gosh I'm forgetting the name stick with me she's out of Canada I believe she's a teacher um, but she also does uh, she makes these stickers and she's on Etsy and she was one of the first shops I started buying from when I first started planning. And I highly recommend checking out her YouTube. It's called Stick With Me. She is, um, oh, this is a random kit, sorry. <laughs> this is from Ruby Trave, Trev. And I just keep it in here because it's so small. I've had it in there forever, it's just kind of a random. But these are all Stick With Me. These are little books that she offers with icons. Super cute. And I always pick a couple up just because I have a little bit of a fear of running out and then the shop will close and then I'll never be able to get them again. So I do buy multiple when I can. Um, but this is my stick with me shop. She has a uh, little panda. She calls him uh, Tofu. Tofu the panda. And yeah, so this is my stick with me shop collection. And this little guy holds all of my tiny little uh, icons and scripts that she offers and again this is all from stick with me stick with me shop and I have room to grow so you know what that means <laughs> so yeah this I believe is the entire collection I'll bring everything up on the table so you can see all of my character stickers okay so this is my entire collection of my character stickers and each album holds a different character or a different shop. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment in, uh, below in the video. So there you go. Here are my mega beasts. These are my big mama jammas that keep everything. So these binders keep all of my stickers alphabetically. So if they're not a kit, they're not a character, this is where I'm gonna go to find the sticker I need. My, I just know from, from, you know, the way I've set it up, my feathers keep the beginning part of the alphabet, 
the script keeps the middle and my dots keep kind of towards the end of the alphabet. So W's and Y's, things like that. So in the first album, this is the beginning of the alphabet, I do keep some script because it fits perfectly in these four by six pouches. I ordered these on Amazon, I'll link them below, but I have a lot of script in here and I keep them together because again, I like the consistency when I plan for all of my script to match from a certain shop. So Cactus Paper Company, Gold Paper Prints. These are shops I order from a lot. Uh, Lilac Luna Plans, love her. And then I have a random sheet of Coffee Monster Co. This is a bucket list. I want to start collecting a huge, <laughs> build up a huge collection from her because I love her little, uh, I love her little character. Coffee Monster Co. is definitely a shop I want to collect from more. So this is pretty much the beginning of the alphabet. So I start with A's and this system I've been using for over a year. And what I love about it is I can keep everything under one category, no matter the size. So as you can see, I have different size arrows with four by six, and then I have this five by seven, but I have them all together. So you can buy different size pouches or inserts, and you can keep all of your categories together. So again, starting from the cat, from the alphabetical, you know, A's going all the way into B's and showing you again, another example. Here are larger bows and I can keep them with the four by four by six. I can keep the five by seven all under the same category of bows, large bows. So I love this system. It works great. You know, label it, whatever works for you. I have bow dividers. And again, I got the smaller cut sticker sheets with the larger five by sevens. So this just bows, dividers, not to take you through every category, but you know, I have Celebrate and it goes all the way to, I think, do I make it to food? I think eating and takeout is the last category I have in here. So I just know from memory um, where I keep everything. So this binder with the feathers keeps the beginning part of the alphabet. The script keeps kind of the middle part, so F. So uh, I think I ended with E, so F. And so we got Friday, I got groceries. Let me try to zoom in a little bit more so you can just see the detail of these stickers because they're super cute. And I will try to put an example in of how I use some of these stickers. There we go. And I keep foil in here. I keep it all together. Some um, organization options is to keep, you know, separate your foil completely. Anything that's a foil, you keep in a separate area. I just don't have that big of a collection, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> Some of you are watching this saying, ah. I think it's a large enough collection. But seriously, some some foil collections that you see online are, are they deserve their own album, but I just keep all my foil and all my matte stickers together. So here's laundry and see what I mean. I keep foil and matte together. Characters that are just kind of random, they all go in here. Unless they're a certain shop that I have a big stash from, they just kind of go in my alphabetical books. So I got laundry and I think I make it all the way to, let's see. Uh, overlays. So I do keep an overlay section and overlays are usually foiled or they're usually clear and I keep overlay and foiled overlay set. So I do have somewhat of a section but they all sit within my alphabetical book. So this is a whole collection. It's all gold. It's from one shop and I call them my foil overlay sets. So this middle binder with the script keeps the middle of the alphabet and no brainer that this last binder will keep all of the end of the alphabet. So I got peas for payday. I got pizza. Try and zoom in a little here. There's my planner. I have a lot of planning, <laughs> obviously. Um, let's see, and this goes all the way to, like I said, 
I won't go through every one, just kind of chunking it off here. I got shopping, I got sick, study. What is this one? This one is tired, I believe. Tired. And weekend. Here's the weather. And again, I love that I can put all of my weather together. So I can put these tiny ones, I can put the four by six, and I can also put in five by seven all together under weather. And that's, I think, key as a planner is you really have to have a, a, a solid grasp on your organization, else all you're gonna do is spend time flipping through your stickers, looking for the right sticker, not utilizing your stash. So it's important that you um, you really are organized with your collection. And these are just extras. These are just empty, empty inserts. So that is my alphabetical organization system for all my miscellaneous, my randoms. And yeah, it's been working great. I love it. The only drawback is how big they are. I do keep them in a bag and I lug them around from upstairs to downstairs because I plan all over the house. Um, but they are pretty hefty, but they keep everything. They hold everything. And again, I can see my entire stash. So that is my alphabetical. Okay, this section is all of my script. Um, if they're not in my binders, I have certain um, albums that I keep certain script in. So this album is a five by seven. It is from Simply Gilded. It came in her subscription box. I think maybe you can buy it a la carte, um, but it is Simply Gilded. And I keep all of my script stickers from Sarah Elizabeth Prince. And also these are large, they won't fit in a four by six, so I kind of just keep these tucked in. They're my foil script stickers from Sticky Sloth Designs. I have no spend, I have gratitude, dinner, uh, no snacking. She will make a custom, um, a custom phrase if you want or custom word. So I have all different types. They're kind of out of order. I use them a lot. Um, I use these a lot in my planner. But for the most part, my larger Sarah Elizabeth prints, like I've shown you before, I shop from her for her kits, but I also shop her script. And she will make you a custom script as well, but she also has a nice array or a nice selection of scripts that she already has on hand. So movie night, happy mail, I think those are just standard, but I've had her make me special customs like lettering, um, I think Steps is now in there as a as a forever standing. You can just <laughs> look how much I use her for my Steps. Um, but Gratitude, Girl Time, that's when I'm just hanging out with my sisters or my friends, or not my sisters, my daughters that are sisters or my friends. Copic, I'm a Copic color, so I like to track how much practice I'm putting in in a week. So I got Copic, Workout, Insanity, evening routine. So these are all my Sarah Elizabeth. And again, I like there to be consistency in my planning. So I order from her often just because I love how dainty and kind of just a, like a romantic font that she that she offers. So this is my Sarah Elizabeth. And I keep them and my sticky sloth foil. If I'm doing something sparkly, I keep my foil in there. I also order from Adorable Amy Designs. If I'm missing something or I don't have it, I put a little sticky note so I know exactly what I need to order when she's having a sale or opens up her custom tiny text. But these, this size text fits perfectly in her ch in check boxes. Um, let me see if I can show you what I mean by that. So what I mean is when you are using these guys, you can put her text and it's nice and clean and consistent and it shows up when you're using these full box checklists like these. And she offers, it's called tiny text and it fits perfectly. And I'll try to insert an example of one in my planner, but I'll have to pull that out after I put everything away. <laughs> um, but these are from Adorable Amy Designs and they are all of my fonts or text, scripts, however you wanna say it. And yeah, so there you go. 
So Adorable Amy Designs, and I keep a couple of her freebies in here. And this album she released just for her collection. It is from her shop. And this album uh, keeps kind of dates, months, holidays, and I picked it up from Michael's. It's from Recollections. It's a pretty popular album. Um, I've seen it a lot in the planner community, but it's just fun. It's so pretty. It's so fun. Uh, so here's uh, days of the week, but I also keep months. Always have some randos. I always seem to just have some random stickers in a lot of my albums, um, but here are months, foiled, matte, doesn't matter. I keep them all together. If I need a header or if I need a day of the week or a month or a holiday or a number, this is where I go. So this kind of is a catch-all. And again, got to have some randos in there. <laughs> and that is okay. As long as you know where everything's at, just keep it moving. Keep it moving. Um, and what I do is my Happy Planner, the Happy Planner sticker books, they also include holidays sometimes, and I will always pull out the holidays, cut them down, and put them all together. So I, this whole chunk, this all of this is just holidays that I can quickly flip through and pull one out if I need it. And here are some month stickers from Bella Rosa. Days of the week. And Bella Rosa, they're a beautiful shop, and they offer some really good uh, sales. So again, I'd highly recommend following them on the gram and getting notifications when they have a sale. And this is Chrissy Ann Designs, and I keep it with all of my numbers and days of the week and months. So I just know that this album holds all of my functional, Sir Elizabeth, tiny text. So these are all my scripts, not a big collection, but these are my script albums. Here are the albums that I use to keep any freebies. Whenever you place a um, large order or you're part of a or you're shopping from part of a, a sale, if you're one of the first, you know, 10, 20, 30 customers, you get an extra stack of freebies. It's a great incentive to get your order in early. Having said that, you get a lot of just random freebies. This album is from Pookie Bear Cuties. It's a four by six and it holds the larger freebies. So for example, you know, just extra uh, sticker sheets that the shops will include. They're really in no order. I just kind of put them in here just to hold them. Um, yeah, these are just all of my random freebies. I do sort of keep holiday freebies together if I need one. See, they're just, they're large freebies that come that I don't really know where to put them. So I just keep them in this album and I know that all, all the stickers in here will just be freebies from shops. And I recommend keeping a nice little section for your freebies and then on your free time, breaking them down and separating them into categories or peeling them off and putting them into another you know, type of album. And ignore these labels. This is how I used to keep some of my character stickers. I can't get the labels off, which I mentioned earlier. So ignore these, they mean nothing. I just use this um, album to keep them safe and that they don't wrinkle, tear, and I, I know where they're at. And this smaller album is from Purdy Planner. And it's Eeyore, he's so cute. I love Eeyore. But Eeyore, this album holds all of my tiny little Tiny little freebies. Oh, and what I was gonna show you, I airmarked it so I wouldn't forget. So what I do on spare time, sitting in front of the TV, watching a movie where I'm just kind of half watching, is I will look through my freebies and I will put them into a category into my leftover albums. So this is my, these are my freebie albums. Let me pull the next album. These are what I would call leftover, my leftover albums. <laughs> so for example, uh, these are photo albums that I picked up. I, I believe they're either from Target um, or Michaels. I kept, they're just photo albums and all I did was take out the cover and put in, you know, my own little postcard or, you know, whatever you want. You can just insert it. This was the original cover. I took it out and just put in my own little postcard. So what I do with these, I'll give you an example. Any sticker that doesn't go into here will go into here. 
So if you remember, this album just keeps a lot of my labels and my full boxes, some movie marquees. But if I have any leftover coffees or script, I will not throw that away. <laughs> I will peel them off and I'll put them into a category. And this isn't anything, you know, too special. It's, um, you know, I have garbage. I have movie night, laundry. It's just all my leftover tiny little stickers that I don't want to throw away. And sometimes what I'll do is I will take, like for example, let's take this freebie. I'll, I'll go through my freebies and I'll say, okay, you know, I'm never gonna find this sticker in this huge album. So I'll take off, let's say, the laundry. And this is so much fun for me. This is relaxing. This is uh, kind of like zen. And I'll make sure to put it, you know, I'm kind of running out of room here but I would put it, ah, let's lift this guy up. I'll put it in my sheet that has laundry so that when I'm planning, if I can't find the laundry sticker I need in my alphabetical, sometimes I'll come and pull it out of my leftover stickers. So these are my freebies, but they, they usually don't stay in here for long. I will go through and put them into my albums. And again, this is kind of like the last road for any stickers that I have left over. And these all hold just different so weather, different types of themes, I have reading, I just have script. So I have a place for every sticker to find safe haven. <laughs> and this one too, kind of random characters, excited, out to eat. So these three hold kind of the same type of sticker, and this girl holds all of my icons. Like that, and then this is my newest kind of leftover reusable sticker book. It's from Adorable Amy Designs. And it's I'm starting to put all of my half boxes by color in here, and this is a project that I need to work on. Meaning, I'm gonna take some of the half boxes out of here and start putting them in here by color just so that I can even be that much more um, organized when I need a certain type of color of sticker. So there you go. These are kind of my leftovers and freebies and that's how I store that type of sticker. All right guys, here is my Happy Planner sticker books and I apologize for the camera angle but this is the best way I can kind of fit all the all the two containers I have. So I keep my Happy Planner sticker books in these clear acrylic containers that came in my scrap box. So at the very end of the video, I will show you how I store all of my stickers, my albums, kind of where they live when I'm not using them. Um, but my Happy Planner sticker books, I keep them, like I said, in this container and it holds quite a few of them. I don't know the exact numbers, but it can hold uh, quite a large number. And the old Happy Planner sticker books did not have any labels on them. Um, they have since started putting a label, for example, like this. The newer sticker books now have labels, um, but the older sticker books, they did not. So people had to get creative. And what I did is just kind of put a little, I taped in a little piece of cardstock just so I could see what the book was. And I store them kind of like, how do I do it? Upside down. And I've made all these little labels. And again, it's just cardstock and I've labeled it, you know, with whatever the book is, floral, memory planning, and I either put a D for uh, decorative or an F, an F ugh, for functional. And that is how I store the majority of my collection. One of my, um, uh, what do you call these? Uh, containers is labeled with decorative and the other one is labeled with functional happy planner right there you can barely see it kind of tipping it and again I apologize but this is kind of the only way I can fit the sticker book <laughs> collection in frame apologize if it's giving making you dizzy um, but this uh, happy planner is a little um, it's it's not the best um, what am I trying to say? Like a lot of the stickers are, there's so many ways that you can interchange the books with each other. And a lot of people have found really creative solutions on how to el eliminate or, or uh, maybe 
cut down on their flip through time because a lot of Happy Planner sticker book users spend their time doing this because there's so many different types of functional decorative in one book. Um, but for me, I have found that categorizing them either functional or decorative mostly helps. But for example, you have script and then you have, you know, pictures. So they're kind of a hodgepodge, but I don't mind it. Um, I enjoy kind of flipping through, picking out a few books I'm going to plan with. And like I mentioned, they are interchangeable. A lot of the books go together with a lot of the other books and they're meant uh, to work that way. But that is how I uh, organize and store my Happy Planner sticker books by using these acrylic containers. And I have a few more and I'll show you. So here is another acrylic container that I keep just some other um, I don't want to say random. They're just newer books that I've bought and I store them uh, lengthwise because the cubby that I store these in, they won't fit tall wise. So I had to lay this section down flat. But again, these are just either duplicates of sticker books that I already have. And I get them if they are on a ridiculous sale, even though I know I have the book, you know, if they're 70% off, I'm, I'm going to snag it just because... I am addicted to stickers. Um, but yeah, these are all uh, Happy Planners. This is the Disney collection. And I got two of these, one for me, one for my daughter. And it's fun when we can we can plan together. So uh, really no rhyme or reason. I just know that these are extra Happy Planner sticker books. And then I have the big, these are the only two jumbo or big Happy Planner sticker books that I have. This was what, the excuse me. This was a collab with Joann's, and this was just released by the Happy Planner. They're pretty old. Um, I've used these a lot. I have some videos that I've pulled stickers out of <clears throat> to finish a spread, but these are the only two large ones. They're called the Mega Books, and I think there's like six or seven, but these are the only two I have, and that's how I store the rest of my Happy Planner book uh, collection. Okay, we are officially towards the end of my collection. These are just random stickers or other big brand sticker books that I collect. For example, I have the Recollections. They have a uh, sticker book, um, their own brand. It's with Michaels. And I have picked up quite a few different themes from them. Um, if something's on sale, I'm going to pick it up. If it's, you know, like I said, 70% off, I'll just grab it. Um, if, if I really like it. So all these are just kind of my recollections, uh, branded sticker books. Like I said, just some random, random stickers. I keep them all together. These I got from, I think, Wish, uh, the wish.com. They have a lot of different, really, really inexpensive stickers that I picked up. Again, if I am in a store or I see some kind of sticker book, you know I'm going to get it. <laughs> and I'm starting to realize I have a problem, but a good problem. This is good. Collecting stickers never hurt anyone. Uh, here are my Shine Sticker Studios. These were, I think they were like maybe $3, maybe, maybe no more than five, if even, for the book. So I picked up a slew of the same kind just because they were so discounted at Michael's. Uh, here's my Wonton in a Million, Agenda 52. These are from Hobby Lobby. I don't shop from Hobby Lobby often, but these are my sticker books from Hobby Lobby. And I got all of these books from, oh gosh, um, uh, Tuesdays, Tuesday mornings. And they were $7. So anything under $10, I think, is a steal. Any kind of sticker book that is under $10, i am going to get it. So these are just kind of random sticker books. They're larger. And then Paper House, I went to a um, planner conference, and they were there uh, selling their merchandise. So I grabbed a bunch of their sticker books as well. And they're themed. They kind of have the same vibe as Happy Planner, but just kind of different designs, very vibrant. Um, some are foiled. So these are my paper house sticker books. And that is what I keep in one container. And again, I'll show you sort of how I keep all of this um, stored in my craft box here at the end of the video. And then this is just a random um, collection of 
different sticker sheets. So like this one was on clearance, I believe at Joann's. So even though I'm not a big user of these um, sticker rolls, I do have a couple. And like I said, if I see something on clearance, I'm gonna grab it. One is a wellness, one is a fitness. And they're sticker rolls over and over with just these designs. So these are my Happy Planner sticker rolls. Again, a sticker book. I will find a lot of sticker books at um, Paper Source. It's Paper Source, and they carry a lot of their own kind of sticker books. These are <laughs> stickers my mom found, and they were probably mine from the 80s, and I was thinking I should do a video and show off my collection. I have my sticker books, my classic sticker books from like <laughs> 1985, 88. Um, anyway, so these are just, again, random stickers that don't fit standing up and they need to be laid down and paper source. I think all these are from paper source and they're cute and I've used them in a couple of my spreads, um, but that's where I keep my random sticker books. And here's some of the other life organized sticker books, some weathers. Some Teresa Collins, and I I picked these up again at a planner conference I went to uh, almost a year ago. Some Amy Tangerines. These are all random. These were just freebies, and these I think are from Dollar Store. My mom will pick me up some stickers if she sees sticker books, and these are kits that I don't have room for in my album. These are all simply gilded kits, and I keep the journaling card that comes with the kit together. And I didn't use to swatch the rolls that came with the sticker kit. I have now since started to do that. But these are also leftover, or not leftover. They're just kits that are how I used to store them and they don't fit in the album. Or they're just larger sheets. Um, sometimes she'll be getting rid of old stock and she'll just put some of these older um, holiday themed kits on sale and I'll pick up. So they just kind of live in here and I know that they're in here. Uh, these are Tim Holtz. I think I picked these up at Joann's. It's just script and more script and some Happy Planner uh, friends. These are all friends themed. It's called Soul Sisters. Hello, friend. And yeah, so there you go. And at the very beginning of this box, I keep all of my journaling cards. So anytime a sticker shop sends you an order or I get a Simply Gilded and I've used the kit. I keep all the old cards in here and there's so many things you can use journaling cards for. I use them a lot in my Insta posts just as props or you can put them in your planner if they're themed or sometimes I'll stick them in my bullet journal and glue them down again for that month. Obviously if it's a summer month you could use one of these but I don't throw any of them away. So this goes to show you how many orders I've made. <laughs> um, but this is where I keep all of my journaling cards that come uh, in my orders. And that's Let's Plan It. She has the best ones. Some days I amaze myself. Other days I look for, for my phone while talking on it. Unable to quit as I am just too legit. Love it. So there you go, you guys. That is my sticker collection and how I organize everything. If you guys have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. And let me go ahead and show you guys um, kind of a walkthrough of how everything sits and I store all of my all of my stickers. Okay, guys, so this is where I pretty much store everything when I'm not using it. So this is my craft box, and I do promise I will be I will be recording a walkthrough it's just a lot and I want to make sure I clean it out anyway it's never going to be to perfection but I'll get it close enough where I will walk you through what I keep in my craft box but um, let me go ahead and start all my kits I keep in here so that's where my um, character not to be too shaky sorry I'm a one man <laughs> <laughs> a one man production. But here are my kits and my Let's Planet character stickers. These are more kits. And these are my um, Sarah Elizabeth and my Chic Street collection. I keep kind of over here. And I keep my Nikki Plus Three on top of my washi drawer. And it stores perfectly right there. 
my character books, I keep them all in here. So my whimsical cat, my pookie bear, my once more with love and my uh, stick with me shop. I keep my albums kind of right here and I just pull the album I'm using for that week. And up here are, these are um, happy planner, happy planner and my big books. I just kind of shove in there. <laughs> We're getting tight on space. Um, this is where I keep all of the random or extra um, sticker books. I keep all of my DEK uh, kits in this pouch kind of stuck in between the middle of these two. And then up here is where I keep all of my other little random sticker books. And these are my larger shop sticker books. But there we go. They get stuck in the back because they're so tall, but this is where I keep. Oops, I don't know why that's not. There we go. Sorry. Um, that's where I keep all my other larger sticker brands, sticker books, but this is where they store. And this is where I just, I know where everything's at and it makes it easy for me to just come and grab what I need. And here is my um, bag. This, I, I believe I got this from... Michael's and this is from the happy planner they're having a sale and this is how I carry around my beasts my my big Berthas as I call them and I can move upstairs downstairs I can be mobile with this bag and this holds you know all my miscellaneous older sticker books it holds some of my characters holds my scripts it holds my uh, leftover and my freebies so I still walk around these two bags are, they pretty much go with me every, everywhere, and as I need whatever I'm planning, I'll either grab a sticker kit, and I'll grab one of my character albums. So that is it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.